In this tutorial we're going to work out how we can delete records from a database using the delete from statements in SQL. We're going to use the W3Schools triad editor for SQL um, just so that we can have a database to play around with and we'll start this time with the employees um, table. So there are 10 people who work for this imaginary company each of them have got a different employee ID and let's imagine that um, Margaret Peacock is leaving the company. Um, she's got a better job, so we're going to remove her from the records. So if we want to delete a record, we have to say delete from, and then we say which table we want to remove a record from. So this is from the employees table. Um, and then we must say which record we want to delete, otherwise we'll end up deleting all of them. Um, so delete from employees, where um, so we only want to delete Margaret, so let's put in her employee ID, which is 4. So delete from employees, where employee ID equals 4. So when we run it, it will tell us how many records we're deleting. So hopefully now, if we go to employees, um, there's a gap where Margaret was. So you have to be careful with this because it's very easy to delete all of the items from a, um, a table by mistake. So if we went delete from um, employees, but we don't put um, a where clause in, it's actually deleted all of our employees in one go. So let's have a look. We haven't got any employees now. I'll reset the database. Sometimes that's useful because um, you can delete more than one thing at a time in the same way that you can search for more than one thing at a time or change more than one thing at a time. So if we have a look at the products table, um, let's say this um, this imaginary shop is competing with Aldi and Lidl um, and they realise their prices are too high and they decide rather than reducing their prices they'll just get rid of all of their expensive items. So anything with a price of more than 30, I don't know whether it's pounds or dollars or whatever, they're just going to get rid of. Okay. So we'll say delete from, we'll put the name of the table, which in this case is products, and we'll say where the price is more than 30. So anything where the price is more than 30, we remove from the products table. And it's got rid of 24 products, so hopefully now we shouldn't see anything with a price of more than 30. Um, there's something with a price of 30, so be careful. Um, remember that more than means actually greater than, not greater than or equal to. Okay, so the order for it is delete from. You put the name of the um, the name of the table you want to delete from. Um, so to begin with, it was employees, and then you put your where clause to limit it so that you can only delete one at a time.